Hi everyone and welcome to episode 8 of Relegation Rescue at Eyeball with me, the United City FM. Welcome along. So since the last time you and I were together, I've played Real Madrid. Spoiler alert, I lost to Real Madrid, but it was actually fairly close, just a 2-1 defeat, so not too bad. Today we get a tricky game again against Sevilla in La Liga. They're sitting in fourth position, so let's see how we get on. I really wasn't surprised to lose to Real Madrid. We did pretty well, though, just that 2-1 defeat. I was quite pleased with the performance that we gave. We got an 85th minute penalty, I think it was, for our goal. But we were fairly competitive most of the, uh, of the way through the game. In terms of league position currently, you'll see that we're sitting in 13th position, having started bottom of the table halfway through the season. Um, we had half a season to try and uh, rescue Ibar from relegation. And we have pretty much managed that already, really. I don't think we'll be back in the relegation zone particularly before the end of the season so that's good it's just about how high up we can now go we're sitting 13th we're only a couple of points away from 11th sort of 10th place spot so that's not too bad at all uh, we'll have to see how we get on but there's some tricky games to play today Sevilla is the opponent we've still got to play Valencia I think that's possibly in the next episode so you can see a couple of tricky games still to come but we're doing pretty well. Let's go and check out uh, how the team is getting on before we actually get into today's match. So there are a few personnel issues today. Rodriguez is injured and going to be out for a couple of weeks. Our left fullback, uh, Suarez, comes in instead, but... He's actually he's a bit of a miss. He's done okay for us as Rodriguez at left fullback. So that's a bit of a blow. The other two that won't be playing today are Pozzo and Gill, both on loan from Sevilla. So they can't play against their parent club. Got a couple of other fitness issues as well. The reserve goalkeeper and also Inoue uh, is a little bit under uh, what we would quite like him to be. But he kind of has to play today because Gill is really the only major alternative in that uh, particular role. So Inoue is going to have to play today and then we'll give him a rest again. And Gill will come and play the next couple of matches, I'm sure, just to balance that out a bit. So for this slightly challenging fixture against fourth place Sevilla, we're going to go with Dimitrovic in goal, Correa at right back, Suarez at left back, Oliveira and Bigas in central defence, uh, Alvarez and Exposito in central midfield, Kike on the right, Inui on the left, Enrique and the other Kike up top and pretty much everybody else that's available is on the bench. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So because of where the two teams are placed, it's only right that we uh, have a slightly less expectation today, let's say. So we're saying uh, we're underdogs, that suits us to the ground, let's go and cause an upset to the players. Uh, it puts us in no uh, doubt as to the fact that we are away from home against a very good side that are going to be difficult to break down. So we'll give ourselves a good go and who knows what can happen. We've uh, defied the odds a number of occasions this, uh, this season so far since we've been involved in the club so maybe we can do it again who knows we'll have to see how this one goes uh, lots of uh, faffy build up <laughs> to the match come on where's the kickoff the kickoff happens we don't see it so there's no early highlight unfortunately but the first highlight comes from a corner kick from Sevilla they um, we get it partially clear which is good and then Kike the winger version of our two Kikes picks up the ball and charges down that left hand side slows himself up eventually gets the support of the other players around him and we keep possession very nicely holding quite a high line in defense and then we make a really bad error and it's Munir who picks up the ball and charges back down at us. We get a block on the ball. Eventually, uh, we put it into midfield, but they win the ball again. We haven't really wanted to keep the ball very well. And now we've been punished for it. Oliver comes in with a uh, nice finish. But we caused our own downfall at least a couple of occasions there. We gave the ball back to them. There's a clearance from Suarez into midfield. But it was a bit of a no man's land, really. We didn't have anybody there. And it meant that Sevilla could counter, uh, counter on us again very quickly, very high up the pitch and get that shot away. It was not a great start, really. First couple of minutes of the match. 
and we saw several times we gave it to them and made it easy, too easy for them to get through to us. So got to stamp those sorts of things out if we want to improve in the league any further than qu uh, where we currently are. Um, and it's now 15 minutes into the game. It's gone a little bit quiet. No more highlights. You can see that though, in terms of stats from the game, Sevilla, uh, Sevilla have the advantage. More shots at goal. We haven't had one on target at this point. And they've also had more possession of the football as well. So not going fantastically well. Um, but we are only that one goal behind and it can change if we can find a way to get some uh, impetus behind our play a little bit. They're in their 4-3-3 formation. We're still in our 4-4-2 that's worked very well for us uh, so far since we've taken over. That two-man attack has done uh, a lot of damage to a lot of people. Not quite so much in the first half against Sevilla, though. So we're going to likely go in one down at half, pa uh, at half past what? <laughs> I don't know what half past what I was going to say. At half time, even. Um, and we will have to see whether we can put a rocket up them and get them playing better in this second half. So we're going to pump the fists rather than go aggressive. We're going to be uh, hopefully encouraging. Pump the fists. Uh, I don't think you've played anywhere near what you're capable of. Uh, let's make up for that in the second half. We're also going to go into the tactics and we're going to up our mentality. We're in a balanced mentality at the moment. We're going to go straight into attacking mentality. And as soon as we get into this uh, second half, we're also going to demand more from the players early in the second half. And just see if we can get on the front foot a little bit and catch severe cold. But it's not likely when they have the free kick. And it just went narrowly wide. We were a little bit fortunate with that one. Uh, I'll happily take the fact that we were a little bit fortunate, but uh, it doesn't bode well for us if they're getting early sighters in this second half. Uh, we've had a couple more shots a goal, only one on target so far. Not really good enough. And finally, potentially, we get our own highlight. But we've seen that we've given the ball away a couple of times in previous ones. We do indeed get the ball into the box, but they do win it. And again, they counterattack very, very quickly on us. We've got a few people uh, back and hopefully able to deal with it. And they do just about. They whack it out for a throw-in down that far side. But again... Uh, we cause ourselves a little bit of a problem with the accuracy of our final pass, etc. And again, oh, the sighter was there before. He puts it on target this time, but uh, fortunately the goalkeeper scrambles across and gets behind it and clears it really well. Kike down the right-hand side, picks up the loose ball, uh, gets to the side of the box, crosses it in. The on-running uh, Exposito has a shot. It gets blocked and it falls nicely to, um, uh, I think it was Enrich, was it? From quite a narrow angle. No, I think it was Kike again. Again, from quite a narrow angle down this right-hand side. Was he onside? Was there any issue there? Goal disallowed. Ah, he was offside. Let's have a look at this. So he has the cross. And that is just the most narrow of margins, isn't it? Absolutely is. We're really unlucky there. It fell very nicely back to him. And he had the second bite at the cherry. But millimetres offside, it feels like a little bit. We get another highlight to start down at the back uh, in the left fullback area. And Exposito takes over in midfield, uh, puts a good sweeping ball out wide right to Kike, the danger man. Again, down to the byline, crosses the ball in, but it's too close to the goalkeeper. And he clutches it very nicely and tries to get Sevilla going again, but puts it straight into our midfield. And again, Kike down the right hand side is the danger man. There's the overlap from the right fullback, gets to the byline. Not a good cross again. We're getting uh, the opportunities to put the ball in. It seems uh, a fair amount just at the moment, but not doing it with any clarity of quality, should I say. And there's Sevilla punishing us almost. We get it cleared off the goal line, really. And at 71 minutes, we're going to go in and make a couple of changes. It's not quite worked out for us today. We've got some uh, players playing well below par, definitely. Three on 6.3. And unfortunately, there's a couple in here that we can't do too much about. So, for example, Suarez has come in for the injured Rodriguez. We don't have a natural left side fullback replacement. We might have to put Arbila 
in there because he can play a number of positions. So we are going to do that because Suarez is out, uh, is not out at all, because he's got a yellow card and his conditioning is low, we're going to take him out of the firing line. Similarly, with uh, Inouye, we've got the issue that Gill isn't there today as a replacement, but he's on a yellow card and a 6.3. We can't allow that to continue. So what are we going to do with this one? What we're going to do is we're going to put... Um, we're going to put this guy in, uh, who I call Nikita, because I can never pronounce his second name at all. And he's going to work down that uh, left-hand side for us. But what we're going to do is we're going to put him in as an inside forward, because actually he's a striker. So if we can get him cutting in, in and around the top of the penalty box, maybe there's a couple of opportunities for him there. And then we are going to take a striker off. The second Kike, not the one that's been working down the right-hand side, but the striker is going to come out. And we are going to put Marquez up top and play him for the last few minutes. So those are the changes we're going to make. We're going to stay in the attacking mentality. I don't really want to change much else of what's going on. We're still only one goal behind, but what we will do is we'll go back into the shouts and fire them up for the last 15 minutes of the match and see whether we can get any of these attempts that we create on target would be good, and in the back of the net would be even better. But... Sevilla, in terms of match stats, are dominating this game and it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a damp squib, this one. We'll go very attacking for the last few minutes just to see if we can get anything. But we've only had five shots on goal and one of those on target. It's one of those poor days at the office, really. Sevilla came, they uh, absolutely conquered. They did it through playing okay with a little bit more possession than us, they had a lot of shots at goal. 18 shots at goal, only seven of those on target. But we were 6-1. and one, And that is when uh, what happens when you play the big boys in the division. Sevilla came and they uh, absolutely deserved to win the game. Not really because they were magnificent. I thought we were a little bit ordinary. Anyway, there you go. Unfortunately, on today's performance, we didn't win the game. One of those things. So after 32 matches, you can see that leaves us still in 13th position on a whole ho with a whole host of other clubs on 37 points. But there are a couple of teams directly above us that we could potentially reel in with some good results. The only down point of today really is if we'd have managed to somehow win that game, we'd have been 40 points. And that would have really pushed us towards maybe finishing in the top half. I think that might be a little bit beyond us now. We still have to play 10th place for Valencia. So we could potentially reel them if, if we got the win. We could reel them in. But I think it's a little bit less likely now. So I would suggest our... Uh, real aim has to be seeing if we can finish in that 11th position as much as uh, as is possible to do. We've got uh, a reasonable goal difference compared to a couple of teams around us, but we're going to have to improve that to get in and around that 11th spot, maybe. So that's something to think about as well. But ultimately, from where we started from, it's not half bad, is it, really? It's been a good turnaround. We've got half a dozen matches to play. So three more episodes. Every other game we play on the episodes. So we've got Valencia, Elche and Valladolid coming up in the three episodes. In between times, uh, Real San Sebastian, uh, Athletic, Bilbao and Alaves are the games that I'll play off the episodes. So next time out, you and I get together. We'll be playing another top side in Valencia, that 10th position side kind of have to win that one if we're going to get anywhere near finishing in the top half of the table which would be amazing achievement if we did it i think we might just miss out anyway that's basically going to do it for today it was a disappointing uh, loss unfortunately to a very good side who i don't think really dominated the match i don't think we've been dominated ever since we took over really even against the likes of real madrid they only just about beat us so one of those things but that's going to be it for today so thank you for joining me subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and join my united city community the more the merrier click that like button on this particular episode that'll help me get seen by more people until next time Take care of yourselves. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.